Yo, what's up everybody? How you doing? This is your coach Renz and today we're going to break down and discuss the philosophy of the movie Mulan. Now first, let's give a basic shout out. I want to give a basic shout out to all my Patreon members, all my subscribers. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel, for being a member of Patreon, being a member of YouTube. You guys are awesome, great. I appreciate you tremendously, tremendously. So, uh, if you have noticed, my videos are not on Facebook as much anymore because I am, if you're on YouTube and you, you came to YouTube, you deserve just to get what YouTube is giving you. And that's one of the things about being a member of my YouTube channel. I appreciate it tremendously. So we are getting uh, back in line. A lot more videos are going to be coming out. So I appreciate you guys for your patience when I have my ups and down time because, you know, I'm running my business, Uncle Ren's Popcorn, as well as Coach Ren. So I appreciate you guys. And to the class this morning in my business class with Coach Ren's, uh, you guys were great. We we're having a great time. I, I'm much gratitude for you guys sticking through. I know that it's a lot of information and I expect a lot out of you, but you should expect a lot out of yourself. <clears throat> so, movie review, Milan. Spoilers, yes, indeed, there are going to be spoilers. So, if you don't want any spoilers, you should turn this off right now. But subscribe to the channel and come back later, <clears throat> later and check it out. So, Mulan. First, let me say this. Let's, let's do the basic style movie review right off the rip. As far as a movie is concerned... If you go into this movie expecting it to mirror the animated movie, you're going to be disappointed. Because there is there there's no singing and dancing. This is not a musical. Does it have a lot does it have like uh callbacks to the musics? The music musics. And <laughs> the music, yes it does. It does have some callback. Like my nephew was so disheartened at the fact that the song I'm Gonna Make a Man Out of You wasn't there. But some of the conversation that led to that song, some of the statements within the song were present, but the song itself wasn't there. This movie is an epic movie. It is a movie. It is not a Disney animated movie. It's not a musical. So don't look for those. Don't look for the dressing up like women to, to, to get into the... The Royal Palace, which was a role reversal to show that they fully accepted Mulan in that instant. This is not that kind of movie. This is not anime. This is a, if you know, and what you have to understand is Disney makes these movies based off usually a real story. A real folklore story, real history, whatever it is, they usually make it based on that. So that's why if you watch this movie and you watch the animated, her name is Fa Mulan. In the animated, in this one, her name is Wa Mulan, uh, which is H U H U A. And excuse me, I apologize if I pronounce any of the names incorrectly because I don't speak Mandarin. My daughter, this is a different story. But <clears throat> Wa Mulan is based on a, uh, a a Mandarin folklore, Chinese folk uh, story. That was set in the 4th and 6th dynasty time frame. Where it's the basic concept of the conscript was conscript was given. The father was injured. Couldn't go out and do the, go out to battle. So the daughter dressed up like a man and became a war hero, war hero. So it follows that basic concept. But this is more real life. This is real. More real. More of a story. So if you understand that going into it, you'll like the movie. Uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly, especially for its philosophical points, and we'll get to that in a minute. The cast was great, except for, which I'm so very, so very disappointed. The cast did an excellent job. I didn't even recognize who Jet Li was. If you recognize who Jet Li was, in the movie, let me know. I had to, I didn't realize that Jet Li was in the movie until I like looked up the cast and it said Jet Li, and I was like, "Who is Jet Li?" Because I ain't see Jet Li doing some Jet Li things. Uh, but and you're not gonna see Jet Li doing some Jet Li things for the most part. Didn't even recognize who Jet Li was until I had to look it up. So great acting, Jet Li. Didn't even realize that was you. But Guang Li, oh Guang Li, I was so disappointed. So very, so very disappointed. 
as the secondary um, antagonist, as the um, redeemer, the one that's redeemed as well. Oh, you threw me off. You're, you, I don't want to say you phoned it in, but you phoned it in. Or maybe they told you to be this stoic, dry kind of character. But I just, I, I was, I was looking for more. I expected more out of her. And and if that was the director's fault, then directors, y'all, y'all, y'all hurt me. That character, her character, playing the, playing the witch, she, um, the witch, um, Yang Lang. You could, she could have done Zhang Lang. She could have done so much, so much more with that character. Uh, but it is what it is. That that wasn't the worst part of the movie, though. I mean, her character, uh, the way the character redeemed herself, oh, wasn't that great? Kind of threw me off. Thought they could have done better with that. Uh, but the worst, the, if I had to pick out the worst thing of the movie, and remember, I like the movie. Um, the worst would have been the fact of um, the CGI. The CGI in, well, the CGI in most of the movie was good, but that, there was a CGI, the, the Phoenix, the, this Phoenix, the, what, what was this? This, this was, this was horrible. This was not what I was looking for. This, this, ugh. This, this was like, uh, like I like Bollywood movies. This was Bollywood. This was like a Bollywood CGI, which I was not expecting in this movie, right? Uh, so, Disney, I don't know what, you know, y'all spent too much money buying Marvel? What's going on? What's going on? So, that CGI was horrible. That CGI. And this this Phoenix was supposed to replace Mushu, but if it was supposed to replace Mushu, then, you know, you you you, you got to come with better than this, this Phoenix flying around that only Mulan can see. You know, come on, come on. Uh, but we're going to come back to the Phoenix as far as the philosophy of the movie. <clears throat> but everything else was great. Love the movie. Now, we're going to get more into spoilers as we talk about the philosophy of the movie. This one <clears throat> had all the philosophy of the animated, but with an added uh, a lot more, a lot more depth to a whole new aspect of the philosophy of the movie. It opens up talking about the fact that Mulan has a tremendous amount of chi. And chi is... In, in, the, in, in, in the Tao and Confucianism, Qi is life energy. Qi is like the force. Uh, it's like the, and I know some of the Star, Star Wars people are going to die when I say this one. Uh, but this Qi is like metachlorins, right? Everybody is born with a certain amount of metachlorins or a certain amount of Qi. And some people have more than others. Now, because everybody's born with a certain amount of Qi, in the Taoist Confucius ideas, philosophy, your goal in life, and this is why people do Tai Chi, your goal in life is to develop your Chi, to magnify your Chi, to keep your Chi energy flowing. This is almost like, like chakras. You want to keep that energy moving in the best format so that you get into the flow of the way, get into the flow of the universe, the flow of creation. So it starts out talking about how Mulan, though, has a tremendous amount of chi. She has a lot of chi. And having those people who have a lot of chi, the force, they um, are able to do things that other people aren't able to do. They, Whether it's athletic-wise or the thought process or visions or any of these things. The, as we will see later, magic. So <clears throat> she has a tremendous amount of chi. But just like in the first movie, where it's not about her chi, but it's just about her being more of a courageous, adventurous, uh, not sticking to the idea of, of, of culture. She has that plus, um, the, she's, told, she's told to hide her chi plus conform to the culture of this era of China, which, by the way, fantastic job it looked like that era of china fourth sixth dynasty it looked that way it, it sounded that way the dress was that way the brightness of the colors everything was that way great job on being very much historically correct in that aspect of it and um the only thing i have to say is that i wish it was 
if they didn't do it in, in the Mandarin language and we had subtitles, because that would have just given more to the movie for me, uh, at least have a Mandarin accent. Many of the characters didn't have a, 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 some of the main characters, like uh, the one who played uh, Wa Mulan, didn't have that going on for herself, right? So that w that would have made it a little bit better, a little bit better. Um, so as we so to continue, <clears throat> she had to develop her chi. She was well, she was told not to develop her chi as much, not to show it case showcase it to people, uh, not let people know. Uh, but that she needed to conform and bring honor to the family because a, a daughter's duty was to bring honor to the family through marriage. Now, some people, this is where they may jump out into their SJW, you know. But we have to understand, you can't be SJW because you're putting your ideas on what somebody else accepts or believes is the right way to be. Back then, that's how life was, and that's how. And if a person chose that, then that's how they, they should be honored in their choice. You can't say, "I'm going to SJW and force you to believe what I believe." That's that's not right. You're you're actually going against what you practice when you say that. Let me give you an example of somebody that I know. I know of a young lady who says that she, what she wanted, and what she's always wanted in life, and what she is right now. She just wanted to be a great wife and a great mother. That's it. Great wife, great mother. She has no desire to work outside the house. She has no desire to build a career. None of those things are important to her. None of those things are the things that she wants. So uh, when other women try to downplay her because that's what her desires are, that's not right. That's what she wants. Now, if she chose to have a career, she can have a career. If she chose to become whatever she wanted to become, she can and that's the idea of the movie from the night from the uh, uh the animated even and in this one that a woman should be able to have the choice of what she wants to be and if she chooses to uh bring honor to the family by becoming a wife and she chooses that and that's what she truly hearts desire which the movie does give you that throughout it that dedication to family is in is very important very dedication to family is vital uh later on in the movie it is demonstrated by the emperor adding that as one of the new virtues, the cardinal virtues of the of that dynasty is fam dedication to family and what that looked like during this time frame, what that dedication looked like. So um, the the but her developing her chi, that was the main aspect of it. Now, when you're developing your chi, you have to recognize that there is the yin and there is the yang, right? Which is um so important within as within the movie because the actress Guang Lei who was playing um, Zhang Lang she represented Chi energy like you've seen this <clears throat> symbol of the yin yang she represented one side of the yin yin she was like the yang and Mulan Wa, Wa Mulan was the yin so and they both were looking for acceptance in being who they are, but neither could get it. Neither could get it, and depending upon your perspective, they both developed their chi. Uh, the but one was called the witch, and the other one kind of had it hidden, but she would work on it, but was told to let go. Uh, the Donnie Yen's character really demonstrated. I mean, he has some great choreography, first of all. But he demonstrated how when you release your chi and develop your chi, you become a great warrior. But the invaders, they had the, the witch, as they called her, develop her chi into a negative format, which made her a slave because she was looking for acceptance but couldn't accept herself. But she wanted other people. She was shown that if, if you force people to accept you, then you can be accepted. But even in forcing, she became a slave to those who used her to try to get what they want. So if you negatively de uh, develop your chi, then you still are a slave and not accepted. And that's one of the things of the movie is to bring balance to it. The idea within this movie, throughout this movie, is finding the balance within your energy, within your chi. 
Wamulan had to find her. She was trying to be a man, trying to be a man, but she found that she could be a warrior and a woman at the same time. She could honor her family uh, and, ha and, and have the virtue. She struggled with the virtue of truth. The virtue of truth because she's telling a lie. She's living a lie. But not only was she living the lie of dressing like a man to protect her father, but she was living a lie of not allowing her chi to be demonstrated, to develop, to be her true full self and to accept herself. And that's the message, guys, in the movie. That, that was the overwhelming message to me in the movie is that while Mulan and Lin Zhang, Zhang, Zhang Lang had to accept themselves. Now, when Wa Mulan, both were willing to sacrifice their lives in order to gain that acceptance. Um, Lang, she sacrificed her life. It was, they could have done better to me. That's the part I'm saying. Could have been better in how they did that. Her redemption could have been better. And Mulan, Wa Mulan, she did her. She accepted. She was willing to sacrifice for the nation, but more importantly for her family. She was willing to sacrifice that. Uh, and she sacrificed for the nation in protection of her family. So it wasn't like she's some great nationalist. It was more about the kingdom, the emperor must stay the emperor in order for my family to maintain their protection, to maintain who they are. And even when offered the reward, she denied it because she knew she needed to go home and make amends with her father, make amends with her mother, make amends with her sister. She had to go back and make amends with her family. Oh, yeah, and there's a sister in this one. I don't think there was a sister in animated. But she had to go back and make amends with her family, gain forgiveness from her family, to which her family realized that they had, her father did a dishonor to her by not allowing her to be herself by not allowing her to develop her chi and grow into the woman that she desired to be. And that he was forcing her to be what he thought she should be. And we can't force other people to be what we think they should be. Even in SG, SJW, we can't force people to be what we think they should be. True love, true understanding, true commitment, true family, true devotion, true loyalty to someone is allowing them to become whatever they choose. Whatever they choose. We can try to guide them. We can set things in place to help them, but they must develop their energy and grow into who they desire to be. We must look at them like uncarved wood and recognize that as uncarved wood, our wives, our husbands, our children, our friends, our family, our business, our work can become whatever it decides to become. Whatever my wife decides she wants to be in the next five, ten years, it is not for me to decide it, but for me to just be there to provide an environment that allows for it to happen in the way that she wants to, in the natural flow of things. And for my children, they're adults now, but even for them, my nephew who's smaller, he lives with us. Uh, he, 11 years old, it is not for me to force him to be anything, but to show him who I am, allow him to pick up traits from me to become what he desires to be, to, for him to grow, for me to give guidance, for me to give advice and say that, well, you can take this path, but when you take this path, this journey possibly more than likely ends here or goes here. Now, once you get there, you can make a turn. You can turn around, come back and go a different path or you can make a detour somewhere along the journey. But if you take this journey, this is the, where the path leads. So the path is up to you. The journey is up to you. You are uncarved wood and you are you have the ability to become whatever you desire. It is not for me to carve you by my culture, carve you by my spirituality, carve you by my thought process, carve you by my likings, dislikings. Because here's the thing. I grew up in a different environment than he than my children, than anybody else. I can only, and I can teach based on the environment that I grew up in. You grew up in a different environment than what I grew up in. It is not for me to force you to be what I am, but only to give you advice based on what I have went through and what I have studied and what I have seen. That allows me to say, hey, 
these are the possible endings of your choices but you still have the freedom to make those choices to go that path to make that decision and developing your chi developing your energy your flow with the universe is one of the ways you go from uncarved wood to carving it yourself imagine the wood carving itself instead of the sculptor doing the carving because the sculptor turns the wood into what they desire the wood to be but let's let the wood sculpt itself and become whatever it desires let's let the flower bloom as it desires to bloom not based on what the gardener has determined it wants to be so those those are the main philosophical points that i picked up from uh Wamulan. if you picked up something else please in the comments let us know what you picked up what you thought if you liked the movie love the movie if the movie just was a good movie for you just to watch or you thought it was horrible let us know in the comments greatly appreciate it continue to subscribe and watch the other videos you guys have a great day remember you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable good journey good vibrations